not one night stand, but like someone who's like just a fuck buddy. When you're entering into that fuck buddy kind of stage with someone where it's just like on day one, you both agree that you were purely here for sex, that there are no emotions to develop. Right. But then over time, somebody happens to develop emotions. I don't think that you should be mad that the other person developed emotions. I just think that it's another time for you to have a conversation and, and re evaluate where you're at, where if you're still in that, um, you know, I just want to have sex, like, I don't want anything emotional to go on, that, and, and they're like, I'm starting to develop feelings, you know, that's where it's, you then need to reestablish your position and say, sorry, I just want sex, you know, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore, or, you know, firmly put your foot down and say, we shouldn't do this anymore because mm -hmm. I don't want that. Or, I mean, you could start thinking about whether or not you see that person in that way too. But right. I think people are so afraid of reestablishing their boundaries and having conversations about stuff. And that's what I've never mm -hmm. understood. I think that's really important. I think that's the key to like, for I think throughout the relationship and also to not have a messy breakup yeah. is, to have those check-ins, to reestablish how I'm feeling, to have those kind of, kind of vibes, because I mean, I feel like you're really like then going on the journey without a map in a way. Exactly. I want uh, a relationship contract, and we have to talk about this oh on a God, future that episode. Sounds no, intense. I mean, I think it sounds more intense than what it is, but like, I would just love something that's just you know th that we're both on equal footing, because I just feel like relationships can get so messy, and I would just love to be like, hey. You know, we establish this. Maybe we can re-talk about how to go about this now or something. Just bring in a lawyer or something? No, or you don't like, need a lawyer. He watches us like have sex and it's like, well, just, she didn't come enough. This is we, we got to renegotiate the contracts. <laughs> that just sounds stressful. I, I think you just check in and be like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm like, I'm dope. Awesome. And then you keep moving. But, but, but I think the issue with the relationships, though, to not make it messy, and if you go in it without that map, is how you lead to like infidelity and like looking elsewhere and like doing those things where it's like you're not checking in you're not having those com communication you don't see the shit's going bad and one person and also it's just like you set up set it up so you're not like emotionally like immature about things i think if you but see here's my plug for a relationship contract is that it could just be like a, okay like every month we're gonna check in about the relationship and like you both agree that you're gonna set aside time every month to check in about the relationship. And then it's like, should someone not be holding up their end of the bargain? Like you could be, it, like it doesn't have to be like, you're gonna have sex with me twice a week or something <laughs> like that. But like, just something, cause like you said, like I just feel like if there's nothing defined, you have to remember at the end of the day, people are always gonna be defending their ego. So let's say you talk about something and you agree verbally, uh -huh. but there's no record of it and you go back to check in on it and they're like, well, I never said that because they don't want to be held accountable to it. And so this is just oh, so that no. there is a sense of like accountability and honesty and trust because some people will, some people will do that, you know, because they're just kind of like, I don't want to be, I don't want to deal with the shame that I feel about not holding up this bargain to you that we agreed on.